Hey Chris, how's it going? So here we are. Um, we're gonna be color correcting your video. So here we go. Your introduction is clear and succinct. So as you can see what I've been doing is going into each clip. So I sliced up your video into all different clips. Did that by zooming into the very exact second and then finding where the transition is and um, cutting it right there to create the to create the clip. So then once we have our clips clipped, we are going to zoom in to the actual shot. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna make sure that our selector, selecting a clip that we're editing, I'm gonna come up here to color adjustment. We bring that up by clicking the magic wand and going right to show color board. Okay, so here we go. Here we have three options, color, saturation, exposure. So exposure and saturation are mainly where I focus in. Again, I'm not a professional, but this can help you bring out the effects that you want and keeping others that you don't want at bay. So the exposure there, you have three settings. This is your main overall exposure, and I usually just keep that right in the middle. And then here we have your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. So what that means is your shadows are the darker parts of the of the shot. So the shadows here would be the dark of the coffee cup, some of the shadows there. The midtones are the mid levels of light. So these would be the midtones, the gray, this banister here, and then the highlights are the bright points. So right there where the lights are, your hand, finger right there, these are these highlights. So by messing with those, we're able to get different effects that we want. Usually I'll lower the darkness, lower the shadows, increase the midtones, and lower the highlights, and that creates a basic contract of contrast effect. Then come over here to saturation, and you just raise it slightly. Now, I found with a lot of this footage, there's really not much control that I have. They're already pretty colored right out of the camera. So there's not a whole lot that I can do. But there's still just a little bit of tweaking that'll sort of give it that edge, and that's what we want as professional filmmakers. So I'm just gonna go through and you can fast forward or watch each one what I do. And basically, I'm just going up and down with the bar, you know, you can go to the extremes to see what you really have control over. But you're basically just finding a reasonable spot and and stopping there. I'm finding that I can't really mess with the brightness. The, the highlights too much on this, it's not much going on, but there's definitely some saturation that can be filled in on that cup, this cutting board. So we're gonna come over here, bring some warmth to the shot there, and that's that's really nice. We have a good amount of saturation there. And again, every shot is different depending on the amount of light, what you wanna change. Uh, so there's a lot of options, and it's gonna just like give it a feel as you go. One thing is, it's really easy to oversaturate, but on hindsight, going far and coming back it's a lot of oranges just like a very overdone effect so here's where it was before still not exactly your true skin tone maybe a little pale so we'll bring it up a little bit and we're feeling nice and warm right there more of a warm feel that we want okay and something like this this is going to be really nice note the highlights aren't too intense the shadows aren't too intense so we'll be able to have a good amount of Control a lot of the shadows a little intense there, but we'll be able to bring it up with the midtones and bring it down with the highlights there. It's looking good. Oh, bump over to saturation. Okay, see it doesn't have a full effect, but you can't tell the difference from that green from that green, and that's not really what we want. I mean they're both green, but we just don't want it yelling at our audience. And this shot was pretty overexposed. So let's see, hopefully our shot be able to bring down the highlights a good bit. We open saturation and let's see what we've got now. Okay, there's not much that we can really do there. I'm concerned about the content of the paper you submitted. This paper in no way addresses the criteria that is stated in the assignment. The purpose of this assignment is to identify a geographic region and look at shifts in demographic data over time 
related to population demographics as well as mortality and mortality. Please review the assignment criteria carefully in advance of the due date so you have plenty of time to address any questions or concerns that you have with me. Please let me know if you have any questions. You may email or call me. Thank you. Okay, so my mama's video is uh, editing papers in the back there, so just don't mind that. So you can feel free to look at how I do this. You can zoom ahead, you can close the video, you can watch each one, whatever you want to do. And you know, really, I'm not tweaking it a lot. Again, each shot is different depending on the effect you go for. You know, we didn't exactly film with the intention to color correct, so usually in a more of a raw setting you have a much more of kind of a gray scale video that you're able to edit more. This one's pretty colored out of the camera. That's why it still comes out well without editing. We're still able to do some some cool little effects here just sort of bring out what we want to show a little more, give it a little more life. So keep on doing this all the way through. Put some jams on and enjoy. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this first video. Sammy. Signing out. Sammy, do you think you're talking slow? I don't know. I've never, I've never done this before, so. Is it this coming up for you? Um, we'll see. Basically, like I'm just showing my friend how to use this certain film technique and. Just now? No, I was I'm I'm uh, doing an audio record. Oh, I see. So I'm recording everything I say. Right. Oh, that's just so cool. basically it's pretty cool. What I'm doing is I'm my screen is being recorded, all the actions I'm doing with my mouse, and the audio at the same time. So I'm just gonna make a movie to send to my friends to show them how to do this editing technique. It's pretty much like how people make those YouTube videos, you know, showing. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, I, I bet you. That's okay. You've inspired me, though. So we have a lot yeah, of control. I think this wireless. I think this is yeah. great. And then, like, I mean, you know what it is? I had a Word document open and it was like a hassle going back and forth. This is very handy. Yeah. You should make her redo it. You should give her a zero and make her redo it.
Casey, this paper followed the criteria required for this assignment. I enjoyed reading your paper about Minnesota. While most of your paper followed APA format well, your headings have some errors in terms of use of bolding. Please check the APA in this respect. You describe the shifting demographics of the population in this area succinctly it is preferred that you do not in your paper you mentioned from personal experience an increase in tuberculosis this is not Please use data only to support this, this issue. As stating that you have personal experience Please be careful to state something as viewed upon observation. Rather, just support your statement with the literature. That's all. Enjoy.